All right, here we go. Yeah, let's do it. So, we want to hear about your story. You recently became a U.S. citizen. Wow, that's pretty amazing. The viewers want to know, how was your journey? Oh, it was fun, challenge, and it's, it's sad at the same time. You know, it's been eight years. Um, I came into the United States in 2014. Where are you from? Um, Cambodia. So um, I came here as a student and then, what? Oh no, I keep going. Uh, yeah, so let me in, let me tell you about myself. So my name is Tai Hoa Singh. I came here in the United States in 2014 as a student visa, and then I went to uh, Merced um, College in Merced, California. I stayed there for like almost half six months for, and then after that I moved to Minnesota, which I met my ex. And then um, we've been together for almost three years, but those three years we not really like physically and mentally together. Um, I moved to Louisiana at the same time because I have to help family business doing over there. And then uh, when um, I came back, um, we have to to stay separated for a while until we decided to get divorced in. I believe in 20, 2018 so that's how I that's how it's got it's getting harder to to stay over here with no family support and while I'm holding a two-year green card okay that's pretty interesting and two-year green card so what do you mean you came here student visa so you, so you came here as a student you cannot work you only can go to school and then after that um, I met my husband and then we got married and that's how I got to stay over here legally by married um, a citizen citizen US citizen and then um, I can then I, I got two year green card which mean um, I can stay here only two years and after that I have to apply for 10 years but before after I applied it we got divorced so I can I no longer qualify for 10 year green card so with spouse i have to apply for a 10 year green card uh with divorce so i had to wait another five years in order for me to apply and during that time i have to go to so many times to court i have to hire a lawyer um with a lot of documents that i have to keep in track and the reason why i got divorced where i moved um where i live in the in the last five years and i what job and taxes and every document that is related to my ex, I have to keep keep it. And then during that time, it's so hard on me because I don't really, I speak English, right? But technically, those kind of words, I don't really understand. So along the way, um, I'm thanks God for a lot of people helping me, especially my good friends. Um, and um, now I got my citizenship. So it, it's just rough and it's hard. Okay, seems like a good journey. Mm -hmm. So your husband, he's a, a U.S. citizen. Is he from the U.S. or is he... Uh... He uh, grew up over here in the U.S., but he Cambodia too. Okay, so he's Cambodian. I was already a citizen. Yeah. Cool. So then you did that. Then you went to, what's it called, UCIS? Yeah. I went to, so in order to get all those documents, you had to like talk to, you had to go to USCIS and in order for me to, to become a US citizen, I had to apply on the USCIS.gov and during that time, it's hard, right? Because I got divorced in between that I'm, I'm processing of getting a green card and citizenship and then I applied so many times and it fell and then um, they like kind of like... Uh, how to say they said that my application is really complicated so it take time for them to investigation and so i had to come down here to texas and then it fell they said that oh they canceled my case and now i have to reschedule then i reschedule and then i um i then i get I, I interview in minnesota instead and then when i interview it they don't give me the, the they don't give me the answer right away i 
it take them for like at least a week and then they send me an email that um, um, it's time for me to do the take an oath. Oath? Okay, so before the oath, did you have to take any tests? Like, oh, you have to, to learn citizen. how you have to learn a hundred questions, a hundred civic questions. So, those question and answer, they give it to you, you just go online and then you have to remember all those questions. And when you walk in, they ask you to take an oath and then you have a sit and then they ask you to uh, uh, read the sentences. And then after you pass that, and then you ask you to write down. And then after that, they're going to ask you seven questions. So, actually, they ask you 10 questions, but if you answer seven questions correctly, it's, you automatically pass. And then after that, they're going to ask you your previous relationship, who and why you got to come here into the U.S. Mm, cool. Mm -hmm. So the questions are like, what's five plus five or what? What do you mean plus five? The questions uh, are? UCIS. The civic questions? Civic questions. Oh, okay, civic questions. So not like five plus five equals ten. No, it's stupid in you. <laughs> they ask you who is the president of the United <laughs> States. They ask you, um, what is the supreme court all of that you oh, have to remember nice okay and then you went did all that so how many years or months did it take between finally doing those civic tests to becoming swearing in and doing the oath um a week oh wow quick yeah it's quick because okay they supposed to give me the answer right away when i had an interview but they said, no, your case is so uh, complicated and it's really large case. It, uh, give us some time for, and then we will get back to you. And I knew that it, they will say yes to me, but I don't know when. So I just wait until like a week later, they asked me to come take an oath. And then after that, uh, I'm not, um, the following week, then I came for the, the oath. Ooh, so now, U.S. citizen, so you had to give up your green card for Cambodia. I had no green card is uh, like a permanent stay. Like you, you stay here for during this time to this time, and now you don't need it anymore because you are U.S. citizen. So you turn that in, and then they give you like a, a certificate that show that you are a U.S. citizen now, and you can change your name. So I changed my name to my cur my previous last name. So because I married me my ex-husband, I changed to his last name. And now I just changed to my last name, and then you have to go to Social Security, update it to them. You have to take your, you have to do your passport. You have to update all my, all my last name and all that. It take time, but, uh, but uh, I don't have to give up my, my citizenship. Oh, so, so you're like I a dual to, citizenship. I hold two, two citizenship. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So my advice to the audience, whoever watching here especially my audience that speak English. So most of my YouTube, I speak my language, but this time I prefer speaking English just because I feel like a lot of people are going through what I'm going through. I'm I just saying that, you know, like just be honest to yourself, like, uh, and then, you know, just, just believe in yourself and then uh, God will help you and God will be always with you and he will make everything possible. And um, the second advice I wanna give it to you is, it's so hard if you divorce with your spouse before you get 10 year green card. It, it's just so hard, don't do not do it like me because that time I was like really hot headed. I can say that I really short temper. So I just want to get the worst and I didn't know what next in my life. Then after that, I got the worst before I got 10 year, I only hold two year and I keep extending one year and one year again and again. and. And when I travel to my country, they have to stop me for uh, many hours just because I don't have 10 year green card because my two year is already expired. So don't ever do that. If I, if I, my advice is just stay with your spouse until you get the 10 year and then after that, yeah, whatever it is, whatever it is, but don't take a risk to divorce with him or separate with him before you get, if you don't even get 10 year green card yet. Okay, that's good for your viewers. Uh, American citizenship and coming from Cambodia, a lot of people do know English. Or do you learn English there? Is my real question. I I learn English there, but um, you know, like when you go to school in Cambodia, you still have Khmer accent. 
and then the way um, they talk over here is really fast and kind of like not in the book so I kind of like adapt and learn from especially you the interviewee <laughs> I learn a lot of my from my friends over here and then just keep talking and then the, the mistake that you make the more you learn right so that's how I learn I learn I learn from my back home too true so your advice to people back home would be learn some English because what if you don't really know English and oh, you're trying to become here? Oh, if you here? don't learn English, you die, die, man. You don't, you don't even know how to order food. So my advice, always good to learn, right? So doesn't matter English or whatever, just, just learn. So learn skill, learn how to talk to people, learn to be friendly, learn how to, to be, be who you are. Just, just learn. And if you learn English, it's really helpful. Like it's help. If you need help, you have to speak. So how do you speak to people? You have to speak English. So it's good to speak English back home. And now, even now, I, I know that maybe some audience that which is born here and, or which is American, they don't, they can cause some mistake while I'm talking. But so what? Just, just, just talk, and then if you make a mistake, then you can learn later on, right? All right. Good advice for everybody. Well, I think that's gonna be it. Any other final thoughts? Final thought is. Uh, you know, like you work so hard to become a U.S. citizen, but remember, once you get it, it's not really a sight. Uh, it, it's not really like, oh, I did a very good job. No, it just feel like, um, you know, one day you will get it, but then when you look back, oh, I sacrificed so much in order to come here. So, so make sure during those time, stay here legally. Don't do anything stupid, taking drug or uh, taking alcohol while you're driving. Don't drive when you're drinking. All that and follow the rules and oh and sweet and <laughs> hey, keep feeling, hey. the camera is moving. so just be a good citizen so no matter how hard you're going through they will give you a citizen they will give you a US citizenship <laughs> you're putting your socks on on your scale <laughs> so yep enjoy the view and I uh, hey well, you're moving away from me. I haven't thanks to my audience yet. They cannot hear my voice. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you think this video is uh, help you and motivate you while you holding a two-year green card, you remember just be honest to yourself. And and uh, if you are if you are true to yourself, nobody can give. They will give you a citizenship no matter what. Okay, love you. Bye. Don't know what to do. Where's that? Don't know when to see. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's how, how many?